All right. Well, again, thank you guys for doing this. It means a lot. It truly does. This is going to help a lot of people. So I appreciate you guys doing this for real. Um, so I guess let's start off with your background. Where where did you guys come from? Tell us about these first. All right. Well, my name is Christine Ill, and I come from, um, the background is in business. I was working at Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield for 14 years um, as a manager, about $56,000 a year. Felt like I was doing pretty good until the big layoff. So that is where I come from after being with Highmark for 14 years um, and being laid off. I decided I did not ever want to work for another company. So I took that severance pay and kind of took a couple years off to figure out what I wanted to do and started a credit restoration company and ended up meeting my now husband mm -hmm. who had introduced me to this opportunity. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So what were some of the challenges that you dealt with at Highmark? What mm -hmm. What was it in particular that you didn't really like so much? Well, with Highmark, right at the end, near the time of being laid off, my sister had a massive stroke. And because I was a manager in a department, we take off certain days of the week. Mm. So when she was at the hospital and I needed to go, it was a problem. Wow. Right. Wow. So it was your job or your family at that point. So, of course, I did go to see about my family. And that's probably one of the reasons why I was laid off shortly after. Time. Yeah, Hard time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so why this opportunity? What What was it about this that that made you make that decision? <laughs> keep it. Keep it real. Keep it. Keep it all the um, way. Um. Okay. So I did not want to be with Lincoln Heritage. I did not know anything about uh, this opportunity. Anything about the sales part of it. Uh, my husband Raheem, his best friend, was in the business. Is in the business, um, and he was coming over to the house showing paychecks, you know, his commissions often. Mm. And my husband was saying, I want, you know, you need to get into this. You know, he was not able to get in right away. And he'll talk about that in a moment. Mm. Um, so he was trying to push me into the opportunity. And I said, I don't want to work for anybody. I don't want to be in sales. Um, although I was doing the credit restoration company, I was in control of that. I was tied into three different mortgage companies. So I was being fed clients. I didn't have to go out and sell. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was different. Okay. And I guess that years of fighting, um, three, <laughs> three years, years of fighting. I had a dream. I had a dream. I'm a dream. I had a dream that I was selling a policy to a little old lady. And um, the feeling that I had from her hugging me, it was just like, wow. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is more than just sales. And um, I woke up even, he didn't even, he didn't even know about it. I'm into her. I would, I would speak to the, my friend that she mentioned, Sean Hall. And uh, every time I would bring it up, it was an argument. It ended up on, forget it. I'm not talking about this with you no more. Yeah. She didn't want to do sales. And as she mentioned, and that day that she had that dream, I didn't know about the dream. But Sean and I was talking that morning. And I said, I'll call you back in a little bit. I'm going to try this one more time. <laughs> yeah. And I, I approached her, and um, as I'm saying, whatever it was that he told me about that day, he, how he eventually got me is he kept talking to me about his residual check. That appealed to me. She kept smiling. As, Babe, one more time. I want to talk to you about this one more time. And she's ear to ear like she is right now. <laughs> and I said, why are you smiling? You know, what is, what, what's so funny? And she said, no, just keep going, keep going. You know, so I, I told her whatever it was. And, and um, when I was done, she said, are you done? I said, yeah, I'm done. Now, why were you smiling? She told me about the dream. Mm. She said, I had a dream last night. And, and I think that you coming to me after that dream just solidifies, you know, wow. and, and I think I want to do this. So, yeah, yeah, so she came on board. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, okay, so Raheem, tell me about your background. Tell me about where you came from. I have a pretty extensive background and none of it is in insurance. I've had sales experience. Um, I What I did prior to this, immediately prior to this, um, I ran a landscaping company. I used to be a youth minister at, at my church and I was a little bit, I loved that, uh, but I was a little bit, it was inner city uh, kids and I was kind of frustrated with um, 
how how much I felt we needed to do some more. You know, we're praying, we're teaching them, and it wasn't an, a thing that we would do in the in their community. Um, and I felt something was needed there. I always wanted to start up a landscaping business, so that's where it began. Um, to make a long story short, it took off from day one. And um, I ran that business for about eight years. Which was one of the reasons why I didn't want to come, and I was telling her, uh, Troy, Mr. Miles, who is whose agency we're a part of, um, just happened to be one of the houses that we would do every Monday. Um, I, I met him through other people, Sean, and and some of my other friends who are in the business, and um, some of their properties we did as well. And Troy just heard about us, heard about our work. And um, I begin to do his house every Monday. So every Monday, I'm going out to this amazing house, a um, little bit larger than mine. Mm -hmm. You know, his cars were a little bit different than mine. Mm -hmm. And every week, literally, that we would go there every Monday, there'd be another truck taking something out or putting something into this place. He'd come out with flip-flops on, a brand new <laughs> pair of Jordans on, or... Uh, just comfortable and always smiling, always happy. And um, that's attractive, very attractive. And success leaves clues. Mm -hmm. And I began to question him and talk to him more and more. Um, he was confirming some of the things that my friend was discussing with me. Mm -hmm. And um, I ran that landscaping business, like I said, for eight years. But as soon as I met Troy, as soon as I really, really... Um, started talking about that residual, you know, um, as I said, that's what really drew me to this opportunity. Um, regardless of how good I did doing the uh, uh, landscaping business, I had to do that again the following year to make the exact same amount of money. Mm. Um, and I understood residual would be different mm. in, in, a, in a very much more positive way. Mm. Um, I wouldn't have to work as hard or eventually at all at a point mm -hmm. and that appealed to me um so after eight years i called my father i said hey do you want to pick up and my father said what are you talking about i said if you can get the uh I'm, he he lives in georgia mm -hmm. i said if you can get to pittsburgh i have a pickup for you mm -hmm. and he came and picked up the pickup mm -hmm. and i let the customers go and i have not looked back it's been uh four years now wow. yeah wow yes yeah, sir so if you wouldn't mind, can you dive in a little deeper into the challenges you were facing in landscaping? Like why not just continue your landscaping business? Good question. Um, I, I had a motorcycle um, also. Um, in my spare time, I, I, that's, that's therapy for me. You know, get me on a motorcycle is one of the things I like to do to just disconnect, if you will, mm -hmm. and, and just kind of uh, enjoy life and some of the fruits. The majority of the miles I put on my bike were going to clients' houses who weren't home when we did the service, mm -hmm. who I was picking up payments out of their grills, out of their mailboxes, mm -hmm. uh, just diff under bricks in the yard, uh, different <laughs> things like that. And I'm being very serious right now. Yeah. Wow. Um, it, it, was, it was just, it was an awesome business. Um, it, I, I saw a lot of my kids go from... Um, elementary school, middle school, middle school, middle school to college. And, and that was very rewarding, but my body was starting to feel it. Mm. Uh, the, the going and uh, chasing for, for, for money. Um, I've had jobs also where, you know, you make really good money, but you dislike the people you, 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 uh, or you dislike the work that you do. Mm. And I've, I've had the opposite where, um, the money wasn't good at all, but you loved the people. And what I saw here, it was a perfect blend of an awesome uh, opportunity to make more money than you probably have ever made. And the camaraderie uh, that we have, the family type of environment uh, that we have, um, it spoke volumes to me. And I didn't have that um, with, with, with my other business, or with my landscaping business or anything else that I've ever been a part of. Mm -hmm. It was either you had one and not the other. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the the physical aspects of it, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. <laughs> so at yeah. one point, I was we were doing 14 properties per day per crew. So 
that was nothing to me at one point in time. Yeah. Uh, but the mornings began getting a little bit more difficult to deal with. Yeah. You know, yeah. now the most physical thing that I do is get in and out of my car right. and carry an iPad. Right. I love it. Yeah. I love it, man. Awesome. Yes, sir. So, Chrissy, so talk to me um, a little bit about why not just choosing another company? Why not just find another Highmark? Why, why a new career? Because that's scary. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Scary. And it sells, you know, and I was I was the one I don't want to do sales. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, he, he definitely tried to explain that even though I was doing the credit repair and it's like you're constantly that sells too. But it wasn't mm -hmm. in my mind, you know what I mean? Again, because I was tied in with the company that was feeding me and I had other things. I was also a mobile stylist. So I created that where I'm going to people's homes doing hair because I was I had a lot of free time and I don't want the pressure. I don't want any pressure from a job. I just wanted to live mm -hmm. and make the money. And so when again, when I had that dream and I had that feeling, then I really I came in and I had that feeling of family mm -hmm. when I came into you know the office I mean when we had our interviews back then there was about 22 people in the room that interviewed me 22 wow. yes and um, back then we actually had to perform and the reason for that was to see if you were if you could do the uncomfortable then you would be able to make it in this business mm -hmm. and um, I thought that was crazy. You know, I came in in the suit. And I'm like, wait a minute, you want me to do what? They're like, what was the last thing that you listened to on the way in? I'm like, oh, give me that from Kirk Franklin. They're like, well, sing that. I'm like, are you serious right now? So I did it, you know, and they were like, act like there's, you know, $1,000 in the room and we're going to give you $1,000. And I'm thinking, oh, I can use $1,000 right now. So um, that was one of the main things. It was different, you know, and everybody was having fun. I had a really good time at an interview. <laughs> mm, yeah. And, um... I remember being in that interview and they were talking about the money and I'm like, I, I was making money, you know, I've made money and, and it wasn't that big of a deal to me. Cars mean nothing to me. Um, so that wasn't anything that could move me, but I, I do numbers. Mm -hmm. So I was an accounts receivable at Highmark and I'm like, okay, well, you know what? You want to tell me about the dollars and the numbers. I want to pick five people in the room. I get to pick them and I want you to log into your bank account. And I don't care what your statement total balance is because I know people can, you know, spend money. I just want to see your deposits. Show me your deposits right now. And I picked five people and they all put their phones down and I had an opportunity to see the deposits. And I said, okay. <laughs> I said, okay. Yeah. This is real. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the results. What would have been the results of you making this decision? and getting started in this business? The results have been amazing. I'm looking at my, <laughs> I'm looking at my shirt to see which one I have on, um, but this is... The